The Code of Hammurabi is one of the oldest legal codes in the world. It was created in ancient Mesopotamia in the 18th century BCE by King Hammurabi, who ruled over the Babylonian Empire. The Code of Hammurabi was a comprehensive set of laws that regulated various aspects of life in ancient Mesopotamia. This essay will explore the history and significance of the Code of Hammurabi, and its impact on the development of law and justice in the ancient world. History King Hammurabi was a Babylonian king who ruled from 1792 BCE to 1750 BCE. During his reign, he sought to establish a legal system that would regulate various aspects of life in his empire. The Code of Hammurabi was a comprehensive set of laws that regulated everything from trade and commerce to social relations and family life. The Code of Hammurabi was inscribed on a steel made of black diorite, which was over seven feet tall. It was placed in the center of the city of Babylon, where it could be easily read by the people. The Code of Hammurabi was not the first legal code in ancient Mesopotamia. Before Hammurabi's reign, there were other legal codes, such as the Code of Uarnamu and the Laws of Ashnana. However, the Code of Hammurabi was the most comprehensive and influential legal code of its time. Structure The Code of Hammurabi was divided into 282 laws, which were organized into 12 categories. Each category dealt with a different aspect of life in ancient Mesopotamia. The categories were as follows. Family law. Property law. Commerce law. Agricultural law. Criminal law. Slavery law. Labor law. Construction law. Military law. Marriage law. Divorce law. Inheritance law. The laws were written in cuneiform script, which was the writing system used in ancient Mesopotamia. They were written in the Akkadian language, which was the language spoken in Babylon at the time. Significance The Code of Hammurabi was significant for several reasons. Firstly, it was one of the earliest attempts to create a comprehensive legal system that regulated various aspects of life in a society. The Code of Hammurabi was a landmark achievement in the development of law and justice in the ancient world. Secondly, the Code of Hammurabi was significant because it established a set of punishments for crimes that were proportional to the severity of the crime. This was a significant departure from earlier legal codes, which often prescribed harsh punishments for minor offenses. The Code of Hammurabi established a principle of proportionality in punishment, which is still a fundamental principle of modern legal systems. Thirdly, the Code of Hammurabi was significant because it established a principle of presumption of innocence. Under the Code of Hammurabi, a person accused of a crime was presumed innocent until proven guilty. This was a significant departure from earlier legal systems, which often presumed guilt. Fourthly, the Code of Hammurabi was significant because it established a principle of equality before the law. Under the Code of Hammurabi, all people, regardless of their social status, were subject to the same laws and punishments. This was a significant departure from earlier legal systems, which often granted privileges to the ruling class. Fifthly, the Code of Hammurabi was significant because it regulated various aspects of life in ancient Mesopotamia, including trade, commerce, and family relations. The Code of Hammurabi established a set of rules that governed social and economic relations in ancient Mesopotamia. The Code of Hammurabi was a comprehensive legal system that regulated various aspects of life in ancient Mesopotamia, including social and economic relations. The Code of Hammurabi established a set of rules that governed trade, commerce, property, and family relations, among other things. One of the most significant aspects of the Code of Hammurabi was its regulation of trade and commerce. The Code of Hammurabi established rules for commercial transactions, including the sale of goods and the use of credit. It also established regulations for the conduct of merchants, including the use of weights and measures and the obligation to provide receipts for transactions. 
The Code of Hammurabi also established penalties for fraud and other forms of commercial malfeasance. In addition to regulating trade and commerce, the Code of Hammurabi also established rules for property ownership and inheritance. The Code of Hammurabi established rules for the transfer of property, including the sale and mortgage of land. It also established rules for the inheritance of property, including rules for the distribution of property among heirs and rules for the protection of the property of minors and widows. The Code of Hammurabi also regulated social relations, including marriage and family relations. The Code of Hammurabi established rules for marriage, including rules for the payment of dowries and the rights and obligations of husbands and wives. It also established rules for divorce, including rules for the division of property and the care of children. Another significant aspect of the Code of Hammurabi was its regulation of criminal law. The Code of Hammurabi established punishments for crimes that were proportional to the severity of the crime. For example, theft was punishable by repayment of the stolen property, while murder was punishable by death. The Code of Hammurabi also established rules for the treatment of slaves and prisoners, including rules for their care and protection. Overall, the Code of Hammurabi established a comprehensive legal system that regulated various aspects of life in ancient Mesopotamia. The Code of Hammurabi established a set of rules that governed social and economic relations, property ownership and inheritance, marriage and family relations, and criminal law. The Code of Hammurabi was a landmark achievement in the development of law and justice in the ancient world, and its principles continue to influence modern legal systems today.